And this morning we are learning more details about the moments leading up to the disappearance hey. of a Florida woman on a cross country trip. She was taking a trip with her boyfriend and her family says it's now been three weeks since they had any contact with her. Marco Villarreal joining us live this morning from Northport where that woman lives. Good morning, Marco. Hi, good morning. Now what the family doesn't understand and what police want to know is why Gabby Petito's boyfriend would leave with her on this cross country trip but return without her. The waiting is just, um, just horrible. It's just the worst feeling. The last time Gabby Petito's father, Joseph, and her stepmom, Tara, spoke to her was August 21st on a FaceTime. She was in Utah, more than a month and a half in to a cross-country trip with her boyfriend. Joseph says he saw no red flags or reasons to worry, but three weeks later, there are several serious concerns about her disappearance, many surrounding her boyfriend. Eight on your side is not naming him at this time. Police say he is not a suspect and there is no report of a crime right now, just a missing persons case. They do want to know why he's back at his parents' home without her, where we're told he and Gabby lived. Detectives tried to talk to him, but his parents gave police contact info for their attorney based in New York. The only thing they've been able to do is take the white van they used to travel. It was in the boyfriend's driveway. I think most people would think that uh, this individual might have some details as far as the last time he saw her, the last whereabouts. Um, yeah. I think it has not been helpful that we have not been able to talk to him. Police say her last known whereabouts was in Grand Tetons National Park in Wyoming. Her father is hanging on to hope she's still out there. In my head right now, a phone's dead, broke, lost, taken, whatever. And she's wandering the woods because she can't find her bearings. Happens all the time. And that's what I'm going with until I'm told otherwise. And another interesting point to put on the timeline here is it on your side has confirmed that on August 12th, Gabby and her boyfriend were involved in an incident in Moab, Utah that was not reported by either one of them. It was someone else that called that in. Police officers responded to that incident but did not find enough evidence to justify any criminal charges. Now what that incident was is a mystery right now. We have reached out to Moab Police Department. We're waiting to hear back from them. As soon as we get that information, we'll update you right here on News Channel 8. Reporting live in Northport, Marco Villarreal, 8 on your side.